How's it going everybody? Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome back to another video. Now before I actually get into discussing the cheat code himself, I want to thank you guys for all the support as of late. It truly does mean a lot. Lots of likes, lots of comments, lots of new views, and uh, lots of new subscribers as well. Really does mean a lot. Never really experienced any growth like this when it comes down to YouTube before. And uh, in the past week, we've been averaging about a thousand views a day, which is incredible. Along with that, we've been gaining about five to seven subscribers for the past two weeks a day. And uh, ultimately, we've gained about 50 to 70 subscribers within the past two weeks. And uh, we also just hit 3,200 subscribers. So thank you guys for that. Really does mean a lot. Since FIFA 17 has been out, uh, the channel's been doing amazing. And uh, I do want to apologize on another note for not uploading for the past four or five days. One day I was without power and the other days Foot Champions was out and uh, I wasn't doing too well in Foot Champions this week, was really struggling. So I will have my pack opening video tomorrow. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, last week's did absolutely amazing. All in all, big thank you to you guys. Moving on to the video, the glitch, the cheat code, whatever you want to call him, 95 striker Ronaldo is absolutely amazing. Right there, nice left foot finish. We'll never understand why he doesn't have five star weak foot. Uh, he scores a ton of goals with his left foot in life. He uses it a lot as well, if not more than Neymar from what I've seen. But all in all, the card is absolutely amazing. One star uh, being decreased on his left foot is uh, nothing to complain about on his base card. The card, 95 overall striker, is absolutely amazing. As I said before, uh, his runs are incredible. I've used his left wing card as a striker in the past, and uh, I just felt as though he wasn't really making the runs that I needed him to. With the striker card, you can tell there's a little bit of a difference. Of course, his finishing, you're not going to be able to notice much. It was amazing before he had this 95 overall striker card. And uh, right there, he's going to slot that pen to the left. There are points in time in this video where I was just fooling around. Some goals probably shouldn't have gone in. Others, right here, for example, Neymar's going to shoot it. It's going to hit Ronaldo in the back and bounce in. I was surprised how that happened. was surprised how it went in. Even when he's not trying to score, he's scoring. So that should basically sum it up for you guys. If you guys do have the coins to buy him, would I recommend it? Yes, this card's absolutely amazing. I think it's one of those cards that, that will retain its price and uh, won't drop too much. Uh, come February, come his Team of the Year card, just because, of course, a striker card for Ronaldo, a striker inform, hasn't happened for a while now. Uh, I believe the last inform or special card he had as a striker was in FIFA 15 as a 97 overall record breaker. Right here, wasn't even trying to score this, or sorry, I was fooling around and skill move, got past the defender. This guy was actually really angry. Uh, he was going for legs, and I believe by the end of the <laughs> end of the video, he had about uh, three to four red cards, if I'm correct. And uh, all against Ronaldo right here, he's going to run past. This is one of those goals I wasn't trying to score. was trying to do a nice Rabona flick using the square button. Unfortunately, that didn't work out. And uh, this as well, wasn't really trying to score it. You guys can see me doing that diagonal run. That was a square chip trying to cross or Rabona flick it into the net. However, he's just going to chip it over. Really nice goal though. Won't take that away from him. As I was saying though, he hasn't really had a striker in form or striker special card since FIFA 15. He did have the 93 overall striker card for the international games in FIFA 16, was able to try that, didn't notice much of a difference, and uh, I'm not saying that the one overall boost from 94 to 95 overall is the critical, basically the factor, the decision maker in this case, really nice goal right here. Again, this guy kind of just gave up to be honest with you, just because I think Ronaldo was just destroying him another chip goal, and uh, he actually managed to get, I believe, 8 goals this game, which is incredible, never really had that before. And uh, all in all, the card is absolutely amazing. I said it before, I'll say it again. If you can afford him, buy him right here. Chose not to show the pen just because I was fooling around a bit too much. And uh, I don't want to embarrass myself in front of you guys. Uh, however, or maybe I did decide to show it, unfortunately. But um, actually, that one was a great save. There was another pen in this game where I just chipped it. It just trickled to the goalie and he just stayed in the middle. So that was really unfortunate. But uh, as I said before, if you can afford the card, be sure to buy him. He's incredible. If you can afford him, at least try him in draft. That's the least you can do. All in all, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you guys for watching. I didn't make a foot beast on him because he's expected to be an amazing player. 95 overall, the best in the game. So, I mean, it didn't really make sense to call him a foot beast. Uh, it's pretty known that he is supposed to be the best in the game. So, thank you guys for watching. It's been Toxic here and I'm out of here, guys. See ya.